In this video, we're looking at environmental science, looking at pollution, and in particular, looking at source pollution types, non-point and point source pollution, the definitions and how they correlate and interlink with other areas and terms in pollution. This is the Earth Science Classroom. The main concept of environmental science is to educate students about the impact that humans have on this planet. And one major and very fundamental impact we have is pollution and how we pollute our planet, both on land and in sea, and how the increase in population is increasing the pollution and the contaminants and the concentration and the effect on our environment. So looking at quantifying what we pollute, the pollutants, and how these pollutants get into the environment in the first place, which is the source. Where does it come from? And we quantify both point source and non-point pollution. All throughout environmental science, we discuss the term pollution. It's the introduction of contaminants or substances into the natural environment, which will cause harm or damage to all living organisms. Pollution can enter our environment from various sources and various areas in different quantities over different times. And the source of the pollution can be split into two different categories, point source and non-point source. Now, point source pollution is where you see and have an understanding and a known location of where the pollution is coming from, where it originates, where it starts and finishes, and you can easily or easier obtain samples and hopefully identify the pollutants, the contaminants, concentration, and understand in a much more detailed way the pollution in that environment. Then you have non-point source pollution. This is where you see pollution in a certain environment. You experience pollution. You can see the effect. However, you are not sure of where that pollution comes from, where it originates from. So there is no definitive source of that pollution. It could be in a different area and travels to the environment to pollute it. You're not sure of how many pollutants there are or the mixing or the number of contaminants within the pollution in that environment. So this type, non-point, is a lot more difficult to establish the known pollutants, the known contaminants, in order to establish what the pollution is that is causing the damage to that environment. And if it's a marine environment or a terrestrial environment, it can be very difficult to establish the actual source and therefore start to work backwards to figure out what is causing this pollution. So point source is relatively easier to establish a grip on the environment and the pollution and non-point is a lot more difficult. So some examples of point source pollution would be these smokestacks in this energy production nuclear power plant. It could be a direct pipe that is producing a pollutant directly into a water body, or it could be a car exhaust emitting various gases and chemicals into the atmosphere. Non-point source pollution would be a lot more difficult to establish based on the array of different materials and pollutants and contaminants that end up in a certain environment, not knowing the source. For example, a landfill would be a great example, or runoff from uh, agricultural land or various mining operations or factories, for example, like acid mine drainage would be a serious pollutant with multiple sources and contaminants. Or you might have, again, runoff from a factory whereby you have this mixture of contaminants and you're not sure where the actual source came from with the combination and length of time it has been moving from that place to place. With point and non-point pollution, we can also correlate this with different terminology within the pollution unit. For example, primary pollutants and secondary pollutants. Primary pollutants are a direct pollutant from a direct source with usually a single pollutant that's causing damage. Secondary pollutants would be 
within a water body or let's say the atmosphere or even terrestrial environments a combination of multiple pollutants that chemically bind within that environment to create a different type of pollution so the primary pollutant would cause pollution and then the mixture of that primary with other primary would create secondary pollutants for example in the atmosphere and you'd have this set of secondary pollutants causing environmental harm so we can look at the point source pollution with primary pollutants and looking at the secondary mixture chemically binding pollutants with let's say a non-point pollution source whereby you're not sure of where it came from and how many pollutants are chemically mixing to create this damage to the environment so the type location and the concentration with both point, non-point, primary and secondary pollutants is very important to understand how they connect and interlink when you're looking at pollution and different environments. And this wastewater runoff from roads and urban areas into the sewer systems and the drainage systems is a great example of both point source and non-point primary and secondary pollutants. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.